Hello and welcome to Chellington Valley. Yes, we finally made it here, but what fields do we own? Let's have a quick look. As you can see, we own the main farm with fields 36, which is basically a paddock. Uh, one, two, and three. Uh, let's have another look. We have 37 down here, and we currently have 92 and 87. But... Enough of that, we do have a selection of vehicles, if I don't walk into the post, great going Mr P. We have this, which is an absolutely beautiful little thing, beautiful John Deere over here. We have an IMT 5210, we have a gravity wagon, we go around here, I'm sure you'll see end up uh, seeing all of this machinery. We have a lot of equipment but what we need to do now is we need to get planting we need to uh, get a foothold so what we'll do is we'll jump in the IMT start planting straight away and uh, let's get in here we go start the old engine 210 horsepower I believe this has but yeah it's gonna be nice Chellington Valley. I've been waiting for this map to come out for a while now. So let's just connect. There we go. There we are. Oh, bit of slip. We are running with the Nika concept, which is really nice. It direct drills. It also plants pretty much all of the crops. We are be using some machinery I've not used before. I've used those before, I believe. Uh, we've got <coughs> these beautiful things. Yes, I've got the old sprayer. I absolutely love that thing. But I got this sprayer here because I actually see one of these drive past my house. The uh, Agrifax sprayer, where I live. So it was nice to actually be able to see that. But yep, let's jump in. We can do potatoes, we can do beets, which is always a good thing. We have a Mac Don. Let's just quickly jump out. We'll have a quick look. Why not? We have a Stubble Master. We have a Capello. We've got a Round Baler, which is the... Uh, let's have a look. The Metal Pack. We have a Wrapper. We've got an old... Um, let's see, is it Distribution Wagon or something like that? But yeah, look out for that sign. Do not put your fingers in there. We have a beautiful yellow class Lexian 780 with a Macdon header. Let's get through here. <clears throat> As you can see over here, we've got another beautiful John Deere, the John Deere 4050. Really nice on the old jewels on the back. But well, here we go. We have the multi fruit. Uh, Terrados, the Homer, that is a multi fruit. Over here, we do have the beet header, which is that one. We've got the carrot header, which is this one. And we've got the onion header, which I believe is the blue one. We have a Grimmy, uh, Grim, Grimmy, Gram. We've got this Tektron 415, uh, rather than the Varatron. So, nice to have that. Never used that before. In here, we do have some old machinery mixed with new, uh, an old style potato planter. We've got a, is, is this like a, a hay bob? Don't know, you'll have to let me know in the comments down below, but I'm sure that's like a hay bob. Uh, we do have another harvester here in the Far M66T, if needs be. We have the potato harvester here. If we looked at you know, if you want to do go old old style for an episode, we've got that. But yeah, and we do have, if I quickly tab over to it, currently going on course play in this field. So just right click and we'll just get rid of the lines. There we go. Get rid of the lines, Mr. P. As you can see, it took me a while to find this thing, but it is a big bud. There we go, 320. I mean, it looks really, really nice. If we go inside, 
I mean, look at this. This is the Big Bud 320 that the farm has. Really nice. I'm glad we've got it. But what we need to do is... Is there a seed point? Hmm. Don't think there is. Alright, well... Oh dear, let's go uh, to the store. We'll uh, fill this up. Where is the store from here? I'm not entirely sure. Let's have a look. Oh jeez. Okay, I can't really see on that map. Uh, there's the farm shop. Spinnery. Do 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 do. Estates. Sawmill. <coughs> I'm still trying to figure out where everything is. Uh, there's a biogas plant. There's the shop. Alright, so that's a fair old drive, isn't it, really? So we need to go left, then right, then right. Okay. So left, right, then right. We'll get to the store. <coughs> As you can see, we're not made of money in this one. 56,672. As he tries to jump the fence like an Olympic gold medalist. But yeah, we've got a mix of equipment in this one. So it was out here, then it was uh, right. No, in my luck, I'm still going the wrong way. Oop. So this has got a fair bit of grunt to it. 26 miles per hour, the IMT. Like I say though, in different series I do try to use <coughs> different machinery. Oh, look at those hot air balloons, I never really took notice of that. That is really nice. Uh, like I say though, I have been waiting for this map to come out. And it's a beautiful, beautiful map. And I mean the attention to detail in it. So the smallest little things, even the areas you don't really see or go to. So much detail, like the village and, and things like that. The detail. So let's stop. Uh, main store this way. Okay, let's go. Let's go buy some seed. Uh, does, I'm not sure if this takes solid fertilizer or liquid fertilizer. Let's go in cab. I do like this this tractor, but you know me, I really am a sucker for old machinery. Is that the turning? Let's have a quick look. No, it's not. That's the turn into that field. It's the next turn in on your right hand side. See the BGA over there. Really nice. You'll have to let me know. Do you want this series all done in the cab? Uh, and when we do obviously go out of cab, uh, we, we uh, basically do the flyover and the drone thing. You'll have to let me know and indicators. What's What's the indicator? Whoa, 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 what the heck? Did you seriously just ram the back of me? Get out of it! Jeez, alright. Calm down. Just ram the back of me. Oh, there we go, it's one and two, uh, one and three for the left and right indicator. I hope they're not following behind me because. <laughs> the traffic is still as dodgy. <laughs> really isn't that good. Oh, I love that you can go under here. Will this fit through there? I'm hoping it will. Should do. So that's Chellington Market. Main store. Right, is that the main store? That's the main barn, there's the shop, I don't need the main store. Right, so carry on down, and we're at the shop, right. That's confusing. Main store, shop. I hope it's not that one I need to go to. Well, we'll soon find out. <coughs> Get some seed. Uh, it's not that turning is it? Is it that turning? Hmm. 
might have been. Oh no, there's a turn in here. Oh, it's like there's a circus. Right, I'm not sure if this place has a closing time. You'll have to let me know in the old comment section. Or if you've seen anything about this map and you're like, Mr. P, you have to check this out. Of course we will do. Because, you know, Mr. P. It's my farm, do what I want. Right, there's the, oh, there's the store. Let's go get some seed and fertiliser. But first I need to find out exactly what seed I need. Let's have a look. Where is this normal seed? I meant fertiliser. Uh, is is that solid fertiliser? Looks like solid fertiliser. Must be solid fertiliser. Alright, let's get in here. Let's press that. <coughs> Alright, so we've got big seed pallets. So we'll get one of these, uh, we'll get two of those, yes, probably won't need both, but best to be safe than sorry, uh, sugar cane lime, solid fertiliser, and we will buy that, and we'll buy another one as well, there we go, right, that's that was expensive. Okay, so the desert seeds didn't show up, and the fertilizer didn't show up, because I reset the spawn point to here to get all the equipment to the farm. So, I had a nice casual drive to the store, but it was nice. So, we've got the seed, we've got the fertilizer. What we need to do is top up and have a look at what field we will be doing. Uh, what I think we might do is we might have just a really nice drive over here to field 37. Shouldn't be that far. What we've got to do is come out the drive, turn right, go under this little bridge, and is the entrance way here or over there? Or maybe it's over here and you have to go around the edge here. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to find out. So I'll see you all in a minute. We'll get the tractor back to the farm, uh, we'll get it topped up with seed, and we'll head over to the field. Back at the farm there we are so let's get topped up with seed is it R? yes it oh Mr P actually remembered something that really does surprise me um, but let's just have a quick look at this I mean it's by LBJ I believe modding it's the Nika 9 concept by Velez Agro seems nice uh, it's really cheap, it holds 10,000 litres, that's really good. And pretty much it plants everything. I can't see past the cotton thing. I wish I wish you could actually, you know, go on this. You know, click on this and scroll it across and actually see what else it plants. Rather than having to get into the machine and scroll through it that way. But that's not really bad. It requires 160 horsepower, it's 9.1 metres, so it's not small. But the good thing is you can go 12 miles per hour with it so it's not exactly slow yes it's small in width wise compared to all the big ones but being able to go 12 miles an hour with it i mean i'm really happy with that right is that done 4000 okay so let's just scoot over it a little bit more let's get the top look with the rest I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be planting. Now we're going to have to let's just have a quick scroll through: wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, oilseed radish, grass, cuttable hedge. Oh, okay, that's new. Um, linseed, rye, triticale, spelt, pasture grass, horse grass, field grass, alfalfa. Clover, corn, sunflowers, sugar beets, cotton, miscanthus. What is miscanthus? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Millet, carrots, onions. Do you know what? Let's plant. Hmm. Sunflower, sugar beet, cotton, miscanthus. Hmm, 
Onions or carrots? Onions or carrots? Let's plant some carrots! Never planted carrots on this before. Alfalfa, clover, corn, sunflower, sugar beet, cotton, scantus, millet, carrots. Okay, so we're going to be planting carrots. It's all new, all exciting for me. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. You know, with <laughs> the likes of all these things I can plant now. I mean, I do wish... <coughs> I don't know if there is a mod for it, but where I live, uh, we do plant a lot of um, cabbages, cauliflowers, uh, obviously sugar beet, I'm in the UK. But when I was younger, I... Uh, <laughs> uh, a fun fact about Mr P, when Mr P was younger, um, I was with my mother, walking past the field, I believe, and I said, oh mother, look, they're really big potatoes. Yeah, there wasn't potatoes, there was sugar beet. But, <coughs> there you go, one uh, useless fact about Mr P. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was, that was fun. But anyway, enough about Mr P's brain fart when he was younger. Not only did he have them at that age, he still has them now. Which is always fantastic going. So, let's get some gar carrots in the ground. We do have the big machinery to get it done. As you know, I don't really like doing potatoes, I don't really like doing beets, but, you know what, let's go for it. Let's get some carrots done, maybe some onions, you have to let me know what we plant in the rest of our fields. As always, you know, get in the old comment section, let me know what you want planted, and we'll get it planted. Because if I slow down, Mr. P, slow down, slow down. God, does my brakes even work? Come on now. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Because what we own is we own fields 1, 2 and 3. There's nothing in this one. I mean, that's... Let's just scroll across. As you can see, nothing in there. But, uh, yeah. We've got fields 1, 2 and 3. Uh, we've got field 92 down here getting done by our beautiful assistant over there. Uh, we've got 87 as well. We could possibly look at getting some more fields, but we need to earn the money. I didn't want to start this off with a lot of fields. I've just gone for fairly big fields. You already start off with fields 1, 2, 3, and 36, I believe. I'm not sure if you start off with any other ones. Uh, but I added the likes of 92, 87, and 37, because the likes... We've got the big bud, the small baby big bud. It's just nice to have it. So yeah, let me know in the comment section what do we plant. Do you want to see onions? Do you want to see potatoes? Do you want to see sugar beet? Obviously, cotton, we can do it, but we don't have the cotton harvester. Could we look at possibly buying a cotton harvester or leasing one? Probably. Wow, this is narrow bridge. Is this even going to make it over there? I'm not sure. It's tight. Wow, that is tight. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's a nice house. I mean, just look at this. The attention to detail just for this house. The garden, the plants, the flowers. The attention to... Oh, castle. So, setting up this map, I didn't even notice that castle. How can you not notice a castle, Mr. P? That's where we need to go. I think we need to go down a little bit further. But there's a castle there. Hmm. Never noticed that. Oh, we'll have to go visit that. Right, so, this is the field that I want to get planted. We're going to be putting carrots in it. Is there an... Oh, there's an entrance here. Is there a... Oh, I was going to say, is there a gate or anything? No. Nope. Looks like I... Uh, I did restart this a while back. I probably got the big bud in here. But yeah, it is nice to have that, that bud. Uh, let's get it opened out. And leveled up <coughs> as Mr. P clears his throat. Here we are. And what is it to open it out? Is it X? Yes, it is. Oh, look at Mr. P go. He's like a keyboard wizard. 
<laughs> right, let's get it lowered down. Okay, apparently it was already lowered, then I lifted it and lowered it again. Alright, whatever floats your boat. Alright, let's get it turned on. And uh, let's get some carrots in the ground. I'm really looking forward to this. And being able to go 12 miles per hour. I mean, look at this thing go. It is beautiful. And it looks like it's the potato stage. And you can tell Mr. P's doing it. Look how wonky that line over there was. Really bad. Uh, we don't own any grass fields. The only grass field we own, I believe, is the one that is at the side of the cows uh, area. We don't own any cows, I don't believe. Like I said, it was a while ago since I set this up. I can't remember. But if you want any other fields, we are going to have to earn some money to buy them. And I love the this t and the new ground textures. I mean, a beautiful cloud stage. I mean, you know me. It's the small attention to detail that means a lot. As I say, if you look at the backdrop, oh, absolutely stunning. You look, and it's just it looks real. It doesn't look blocky. It doesn't look pixelated. Doesn't look like Mr. P can keep a straight line. <coughs> I'm hoping that the train comes past. This is going to be a beautiful field. Is the train going to come? I'm hoping it does. Oh, carrots. First time planting carrots. I really am like so excited. The, the new things are. Don't get me wrong, you know, my channel has lost subscribers. <laughs> I honestly c c can't help what's happened to my PS4, but I'm, I can't afford to <coughs> sink more money into it. I mean, I just can't. <laughs> you know, you've got to do what's realistic. But, yep, losing subscribers. But, like I said from the start, <coughs> you know, it's never been about how many subscribers I've got, how many I gain, how many I lose. At the end of the day, I make content because I enjoy the games. I, I play for, you know, the love of the game. I don't play for the love of, you know, gaining subscribers and, you know, oh, I want to be really big on YouTube. Well, I'm not really fussed, you know, you want to watch my content, great, feel free to watch it. That's what it's there for. But if not, it's okay. It's all good. <coughs> anyway. To this, this, I don't even know what this is, whether it's a cedar or a planter, but whatever it is, it really doesn't use that much seed or fertilizer. I mean, I've noticed some of the older machinery, they're smaller, but you don't really use that much seed or fertilizer. Which is always a bonus for Mr. P, because Mr. P's a tight wad and really doesn't like spending cash. Unless he has a brain part and buys something he doesn't need. Which uh, is not really the case. But, whoa, a bit wobbly bob there. Should we at least try and keep a straight line, Mr. P? That would always be a good start. But I really do want to see that train. You have to let me know, does the train go by at a set time? You know, if you're playing this map, <coughs> my throat. Uh, what fields do you own? What equipment do you have? Uh, is your main outlook on uh, just like animals? Do you just do cattle? Do you just do silage? I don't mind doing the odd silage. I don't know whether I just heard the train noise or whether it was literally just this. Okay, let's swing around. Try not to go all wobbly bob. But I am absolutely in love with this map. I really am. Like I've always said, it's always the attention to detail for me. And the detail in this map is phenomenal. Right, what's this? Standard. Has uh, reached the trigger. End point. Brilliant. 
Come let's have a quick gander. Oh, there are, there are some bits that you've missed. But yeah, that's fine. We'll stop you. Let's get on to here. Let's uh, go on stop driver. We'll close what you was doing. Let's stop the engine. And what we'll do is we'll have a quick look at this. I mean, this is the Big Bud 320. It is absolutely filthy right now. I've been using it to plough some of the fields. But the attention to detail, in, like, even, on, even on this small bud, the 320, it's definitely got enough power to pull this uh, plough, the uh, John Deere 2410. But, yeah, it's really nice. I like it. I thought, you know, I wanted a big machine on this map. But the original big buds, for me, they were just too big. And then I saw that there's a, there was this big bud 320, and I was like, you know what, Mr. P, it's your farm, you do what you want, you can take it. So, that's what we did. <laughs> we brought that to the farm. Is it realistic for the UK? No, it, it's really not. But, <clears throat> you know what, I'm fine with that. Alright, let's get on the old cruise control. Uh, I was going to say get on the old cruise control. Let's get it turned on. Now let's get on the cruise control. Still trying to get used to using the old mouse and keyboard. I'm, I'm, I was going to use my PS4 controller. But weirdly I can't get on with the PS4 controller on PC. For some reason some of the buttons seem to have like switched around which is I find kind of weird I've been in settings changed them and I thought you know what rather than do that I'll just stick to mouse and keyboard <clears throat> I've got to get used to it don't want to be a complete noob because uh, there are some other games in the pipeline that I would like to bring to the channel uh, well there are loads of games I'd like to bring to the channel it's just Mr. P's broken, he can't afford it. But you know what? It's all good. We're getting there. Slow progress. Mr. P will learn how to use his fingers <laughs> using a mouse and a keyboard. And I love that line. It's just, it's just the attention to details. Okay, let's pull up a little bit more. There we go. Lift that up. Uh, we need to turn that way, Mr. Pete. There we go. Like I say, I am slowly getting used to it. There we are. Let's get it lowered down. Say, uh, uh, I hope you are enjoying this content. No, it's not PS4. No, I would carry on with the PS4, but my PS4 is just... Oh. Yeah, it's, it's gone. It's non-existent right now. Which is really sad because, you know, like I said, I was a console gamer at heart. That's how I started this channel. And that's how I would have liked to have continued it, but... You know, we're at PC now, and moving forward. You know, and it is a big progression for the channel, you know. There's so much more you can do with the PC, unfortunately. Consoles just, they don't have the capabilities for it. Can PS5 and the new Xbox, can they live up to the hype? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe they can, but PC will always be above and beyond of anything. I mean, it is what it is. The PC is a technological advance. <coughs> compared to consoles, anyway. Weird wavy lines there. I'm really waiting for that train. I hope that train does come. You have to let me know, like I said in the comments section, is there a set time that the train comes? Hmm. So like, is it every to the hour? Every half an hour? 
maybe every 15 minutes. I don't think it'd be every 15 minutes, though. That'd be kind of silly. But I would really, really, really love to see the train. Please tell me the train comes past. Oh, still no sign of the train. Oh, come on, Mr. P. We've got this. Put a carrots in. Oh, 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 oh. We're losing the line. Come on now. What do you think to the equipment I've picked? I mean, it's definitely different. I mean, the only reason I picked the Agravac um, sprayer it's because it literally drove past my house, um, I think it was like a couple of days ago. I was on an hour in on what to put on the map, and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, don't really want to keep using the same things. And an Agrifax sprayer literally drove past the window, and I'm like, ah, oh, I wonder if there is an Agrifax sprayer. And lo and behold, there was, which I was really happy about. Yeah, this uh, cedar planter, whatever it is, definitely is making light work of this field. Getting the old carrots in the ground. Swing around. Straighten out a bit. That's probably the best turn you'll ever see Mr. P do. And that was while planting. Brilliant. <laughs> Look how won wonky these lines are. You can definitely tell Mr. P was round here planting in a field. Keep hearing the odd noise. Is that a train or is it this cedar? I don't even know if this is a cedar or a planter. Don't know. Have no idea. But it's doing the job. And I want carrots. So I like the fact though as well that um with the horses now, you can give them carrots. No, realistic, horses like carrots. Right, so what we'll do is we'll now start going up and down. There we are. Let's slow down, lift that up. There we go. Straighten the wheels out. I do have the progressive steering on, so the steering shouldn't be as sharp as it originally is in game it progressively turns the steering rather than really sharp it does make my life a lot easier and makes it more realistic I mean in real life you're not exactly going to be able to swing the <laughs> swing it all the way around really quickly there we are that's that let's lift it oh you lifted pretty slow there Drop you down. But yes, even though Mr. P can use all these cheats now and all these other things, I still love the aspect of the game. Planting, seeding, everything. I absolutely love it. And I really do love the fact now that I can have the old machinery that I want. I mean, that Oliver Super 88. I absolutely love that thing. Some of the old masses, the old Fords. Oh, I just love them. And even the ones that, you know, are from other countries. Absolutely love them. If they look old, we've got a five star rating in Mr. P's book, that's for sure. But yeah, I oh, absolutely love old machinery. And I love that this old IMT has got 210 horsepower. I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. Does what we need it to do. There we go. Our John, uh, our, one of our John Deere's has uh, 110, I believe. There we go. Let's drop you down. Oh. There it is. That is a beautiful looking train. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, that's made my day. Look at that train. I am so, so happy. That is a beautiful looking train. Wow, the attention to detail. I mean, I've said this a million times, and I'm going to say it a million and one. <coughs> it's always the small attention, attention to detail that Mr. P absolutely loves. I mean, you look from here, it looks beautiful. You look from over there, it looks stunning. It looks realistic. I mean, no matter where you look, you know, it's, it's just stunning. The attention to detail on that bridge, the dirt, the grime, the shrubbery around it, just blows my mind. I mean, stuff like that, attention to detail and stuff that you barely look at. Like I was saying, if you go to the village and just drive around that village, how often are you going to be driving in that village when you're doing your fields? If your fields are nowhere near the village, <coughs> but yet the attention that's to detail that's been put in it is uh, second to none, bar none. Brilliant. Has my seal of approval, Mr. P thumbs up, that's what it's got. <coughs> is Mr. P's seal of approval and his thumbs up worth anything? Uh, no, it's not. But it makes Mr. P happy, so that's all that matters. Alright, let's get that, there we go. Let's lift you up. Wow, look how wonky that is. Would you really do your field like that? Come on now. You possibly... With planting carrots, I've never really watched people plant carrots. Would they do the headland first and then, you know, like the up and down? Or would they do the up and down first and then the headland? Hmm. Or would you, like, leave a gap from the ed field edge? Don't know. If you do know that, let me know in the old comments section. Or if you've ever harvested, planted carrots, or even onions or sugar beet. I mean, there are some big old machinery out there in England and America and everywhere else in the world that's not in game like even for the likes of PC there's there's uh, equipment that that isn't yeah I'm gonna have to get that as my OCD will go Mr. P no no just no there we go let's just Get that a little bit. You didn't see anything. Close your eyes. And now you can open them. There you go. We've carried on. <laughs> right, so we've only got this little part left now. And Mr. P is basically waffled and waffled on. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. I mean, look at this. Beautiful. What more could you want? Apparently a straight line would have been the answer, but hey are. Apparently Mr. P can't give you a straight line. Let's turn around. I will have to get that bit afterwards, because um, my OCD will kick in. There we go, let's just line up. Drop down. I mean, this Nika Concept 9. Really nice model. And I love the fact that it can pretty much plant everything. I mean, did it say it could plant potatoes? I can't remember. And I scro pretty much scrolled through it about five times. Because Mr. P is useless. I'm just looking at the clock in the top right. <coughs> it wasn't on the hour that the train came past. And the thing is, can you switch to that train? Can you actually drive that train? Hmm. Now there's the question of the day. Can you drive the beautiful looking train? I'll tell you what, what I love, would love to see. You know, the Flying Scotsman. I mean, that, that's a really old train. Is it the Flying Scotsman? 
If you know which train I'm on about, let me know. Look, the flying Scotsman, the flying Dutchman. Hmm. Well, you know which one I'm on about. The really, really old famous train. <clears throat> Watch a documentary on that a few years back. You wouldn't have thought so, because Mr. P can't remember the name of it. But I do think it's the Flying Scotsman. Maybe the Flying Scotsman. Do you know what? I'm not really sure now. <laughs> oh, Mr. P, you got a brain like an absolute sieve. Oh, there's a different train. Ah. Different trains. Oh, I like that aspect. Different trains. Again, attention to detail. Oh, beautiful. Right, let's line that up. There we go. Let's lift it up. Swing around. Wonder how much that grass field is. Let's have a quick look. We're here. Is that to the left of me? That would be this one. I wonder how much. 74,000. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good price for that field. So, when we earn a bit of money, we could always look at buying another grass field. We're definitely going to need it for uh, cows that we don't have yet. <laughs> always got to prepare. Always got to prepare. We're already putting carrots in the ground. You'll have to get in the old comment section. If you want something planting, uh, whether it be oats, wheat, barley, canola, or potatoes, onions even. <coughs> uh, can't do sugar cane, really. Don't have the uh, capabilities to harvest it. And, uh, of course, cotton. Can't really do that. Don't have the machinery. Plus, realistically, it's not really the right weather for the area we're in for cotton or sugar cane to be honest but you know hmm. so yeah get in the comments section let me know what do we plant we'll have another look at what fields are available let's just scooch over here we go down we get. And I'm hoping that when you harvest carrots, you do have to use the, the Holmer. I'm looking forward to seeing what they look like uh, when they're growing. That would be nice. Even the onions. But you'll have to let me know about all the other stuff, like the horse grass and, and things like that. Linseed. Is that linseed for like linseed oil? That's obviously like a big giveaway, but you know, I'm I'm a noob when it comes to all these type of crops. You know, I'm just a casual wheat, barley, canola. Well, canola is basically over here is uh, something seed. I can't really say because I'll probably get a strike against me if I say that word. But you know what I mean. Let's get that down. I don't like that word anyway, some dirty word. But, you know, canola will do. <laughs> oh dear. So I do like as well that there there is uh, factories that you can get for your potatoes. You know, to turn them into chips or fries. I really like that. You'll have to let me know, should we look at, uh, you know, making fries out of potatoes and things like that. I think I just heard another train. Yeah, Mr. P must be hearing things. Must be this cedar, I swear it is. Did a light just flash on here? That light just flashed. Hmm. Okay, that was uh, weird. 
straighten that a little bit. And then that will be a field full of carrots. How good is that? Never done carrots. And the first field we do on Chellington is carrots. Absolutely love it. And this IMT is pulling this like it's nothing. And I, I do love that you can go 12 miles per hour with it. And I do think it can direct drill, we'll have to check. But if you're looking for uh, <coughs> a really good cedar slash planter slash whatever it is, you know, look for the Nika 9 concept. And the Velez Agro. Really nice mod. I, you know, it's got my seal of approval. Absolutely brilliant. But we will look to see if it does direct drill. Honestly, for the life of me, I cannot remember. Lift up. Here we go. Turn around, this is the last little bit of the field. There we are. And that is all she wrote in this field. Right, let's get it folded up. Should automatically turn off. It's not going to automatically turn off, okay. Ooh, that's kind of weird. But what we'll do is we'll get this back to the farm and then we'll go check out that castle. That looks absolutely beautiful. I mean even from here it's colossal. You can tell it's it's big. Well obviously, you know, castles are big. Mr. P you stupid. <coughs> See what would be nice, driving under this bridge or over this bridge or Whichever it is, is it over? No, it's under. Driving under this bridge when a train's coming. Oh, I bet that looks absolutely phenomenal when that happens. But if you do know the times of when the trains go past, please let me know. If there's anything else about this map that you found out and you're like, Mr. P, you've got to check this out. If you don't, you're a dum dum. But we know I'm a dum-dum anyway. But, you know, I'll go check it out. Still, I'm absolutely in love with this map. Absolutely beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Like I say, it's got Mr. P seal of approval. Give it the Mr. P happy stamp. I love this track, though. And what we'll do is, I think we will just pull in here. There we are. Is that far enough in? Should be now. Turn the engine off. Nice. Right, so let's have a quick look again at the planter slash cedar, whatever it is. There it is. It is by, is that LBJ Modding? It's the Nike 9 concept. Absolutely brilliant. And no, it doesn't direct drill. But still, it's an absolutely beast of a planter or cedar. Whatever it is. We'll have to check. What is it? I've got to check now. It's going it's to bug me if I don't. Let's have a quick look. We are in cedars right now. There we go, it's in a cedar. Yeah, it's a cedar. There we go. Mr. P can confirm. Cedar. Alright, is there a quick way to get over to this? No, there really isn't. Okay, so I'll see you when we get closer to the castle. It's It's got to be done. We've got to go have a look at it. It looks stunning. And just look at this view going down here. Oh, brilliant. So we're getting close to it now. And what a presence it has. Look at that. 
just gotta love a castle. There are some very, very beautiful castles in England. There really is on well around the UK. Uh, is there any way I can get to there without using the flying? Is there like an entry? Well, there's got to be an entryway, but this does look like a moat. I mean, the attention to detail to put a moat around it. But look at that. That is something else. Oh, and yes, there's a bridge. Oh, what's that over there? I really am easily distracted. I've got to stop. I'm like a fly on a light bulb. I'm absolutely dreadful. There we are. What was that? Oh, look at this. Oh, beautiful. Not really anything in it. But still, just the presence of it here just adds so much. I mean, can we go in there? No. But just look at that. It is big, colossal, and powerful. I mean, you got to look, like, in real life, when you're looking around the castle, you think, how much history is in these places? Some people look at a castle and they're like, eh, it's a castle. Then you think, if it wasn't for some castles, where would some of the places be right now? So, there we go, let's flick that on. Let's, uh, go up and have a look. What's in there? Nothing. But still, ah, oh, the flag. Good love. The attention to detail. What a castle this is. It is beautiful. Does it serve a purpose? No. But just the presence of this tells you everything. That is beautiful. But that's where we're going to end this episode off. This is Chellington. We've planted carrots. And get in the old comments section. Let me know what do we plant in our other fields. Over here we have fields 1, 2, 3. 36 is obviously a grass pasture, I believe. No, it's a grass field. So we do own a grass field. Uh, and then, of course, we have 92 and 87 down here some very nice big fields we've just put carrots in fields 37 so get in the comment section let me know what do we put in these fields fields 3 2 1 uh 92 36 if you want and 87 till then this is mr p gaming and i will see you all here real soon in the beautiful Jellington.